हिंदी सब के लिए इस बटन पर क्लिक करें फिर कैप्शन पे जाके हिंदी का चयन करें जय गुरुदेव आई वुड लाइक टू शेयर अ स्टोरी अबाउट द मेरिकल दैट हैपन टू मी ड्यू टू द ग्रेस ऑफ माई गुरु परमानस श्री स्वामी विश्वानंद द मेरिकल इट सेल्फ यू कैन सी हियर इट्स द डेटी ऑफ नरसिम्ह देव एंड ही अपियर्ड फ्रॉम द हार्ट ऑफ माई गुरु एंड इट हैपन इन टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन सिक्स फेब्रुवरी in andhra pradesh after our visit to the place which is called simhachalam which is one of the biggest uh, narasimha temples in india so the deity himself for me maybe not even the biggest miracle although of course the it's astonishing and it's amazing to even imagine that the deity could appear from the heart of a, of a human being of of a guru of a master which shows for me that really how guru gita says and how even shrimad bhagavatam say also says also that guru has all the deities inside of him guru is the highest deity himself he is shriman narayana himself so that is why all the deities can come out of his heart out of his core so this is the evidence of that but for me maybe even more amazing is that guruji has an ability to hear our prayers and answer them and that exactly what happened to me so what i asked uh, simhachal narasimha dev is that please let me transcend all the negative and positive qualities inside of myself transcend them not just um get rid of negativity not just uh be positive but i understood at this moment that you know we have to transcend it because <clears throat> inside of the lord everything is present and he doesn't look at negativity and positivity with the same eyes that we do like when we look at the event or we look at the person we see the negative qualities and positive qualities and we judge negative and we praise positive but the same negative qualities that i in this person sometimes allow this person to actually do amazing things in 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 the life a negative event that i might judge as negative can actually bring some amazing positive results after after some time in future so everything has this two sides and that is why the lord in his fullness in his in um, in his omnipresence he doesn't judge anything so that is why my prayer was to transcend negative and positive and like this to be able to receive his darshan so i asked him also for his darshan so what happened is that guruji who was there with us in the temple he heard my prayer and in the moment when i when i said this prayer inside of my heart of course i didn't say it out loud the moment i have said it I saw Guruji saying something to the person who was standing next to him because I was in a very good position I st- I stood so that I could see him properly so I saw him he said something and I thought oh interesting what is he saying and then I I didn't know what he said and just like we started moving we went out of the temple and when we went out Guruji he actually stayed a little longer in the mulastanam and, and prayed a little more and then he was very happy and he came out very happily and then we we proceeded with our program which was lunch and already during lunch guru ji suddenly said you know what i don't want to have any lunch i'm going to go right to the hotel and i as organizer i had to really move fast and organize the buses and everybody dropped their plates with the food nobody wanted to eat anymore so So what happened is that we came back we came back to the ho- to the hotel 
And on the way, um, when we were coming back, Guruji came to me in the bus and he said, you know, after visiting Simhacha Narasimhadev Temple, I feel the desire to show Ugra Narasimha to all the people who are present here in this pilgrimage, to give darshan of Ugra Narasimha. So when he said darshan of Narasimha Dev, I was shocked because this was exactly my prayer. And I was very, like I was very blissful even, I wouldn't say happy or joyful, because I didn't know even what to do with myself. I was just like so connected to him in this moment. So we came back to the hotel. He asked me to come to his room and he asked also other, some other people, a few people to come to his room when we arrived. Um, and meanwhile, I also found out that in the temple when I was praying, he said to one, one guy that was standing next to him, he said that, you know, I feel that something very special is going to happen today. And then he also said to him, and you know, I feel so hot, I can't bear it anymore. I can't bear the heat which is coming inside of me. You see, Narasimha Dev, this form that uh, Guruji manifested, he's very ugra, means he's ferocious and he's very hot. So in the temple of uh, Simhachal Narasimha Dev, they even cover the deity fully with chandan. So you can't really see the, the, the form, the vigraha itself. You can only see like a chandan egg, um, yeah, like a chandan egg basically, like a chandan lingam standing there. So you can't see the deity. So that is why uh, we didn't know how he also looks like and, and whatever, but why they covered him with the chandan is because he's very hot. When the Ramanuja Acharya discovered the deity, he saw him in his dream and the deity told him, I'm so hot that you need to cover me with the chandan. So that is why he's covered like this. And so Guruji started to feel very hot because he was going to appear. So the energy of Simhachal Narasimha Dev was already inside of him forming into this deity, you know, like that's how I imagined myself, how it was, so that he could appear. So when we came back to the hotel and we came to Guruji's room, Guruji asked us to chant the mantra Ugram Vira Mahavishnu. And we were in his room and while we were chanting, and Guruji got un undressed, half of his body was undressed, the, the upper part. And he just covered himself with a yellow shawl. And while we were chanting, he pulled the deity out of his chest. And then he took him out of, of the shawl and he showed him to us. And that's how he appeared. So Guruji, what is interesting also, he was showing first him, he was showing him first to me and then to everybody else. And I, I understood first that like he's just showing because he knows I said this prayer. I don't know if anybody else did, but I did say this prayer. And uh, he was showing him, okay, look, look, you prayed and your prayer was answered. Here he is. He came because you asked for his darshan. And he will help you to transcend these negative and positive qualities and, and be able to see him. But then, unexpectedly, after showing him like a few times like this, he gave him to me and he said, he's for you, like, he's, he's yours. <laughs> so Guruji told me to take care of him. And also, the miracle didn't stop there because Narasimha Dev, he traveled with me in many places. And Guruji told me to do like a specific puja at the time, which later on he also told to other devotees to do for their deities of Narasimha Dev. And uh, he also told me to travel and to show him to, to people so that he can give darshan to people. And that is interesting because like normally when Guruji manifests a deity for somebody, like it's a personal deity, but Simhachal Narasimha, he lives in the temple in Vrindavan and he, he gives darshan to everybody like, and he travels to give darshan to everybody and he fulfills the prayers of people. And there was one miracle story, another miracle story with him that happened when um, I traveled with him in Russia. So in one of the small cities of Russia, in Nizhny Novgorod, there was a lady who came for an evening program. 
and I brought a simha dev there, and it was a program of bhajan singing. <clears throat> so nothing so big and special. So I just put Narasimha Dev there and we had a nice bhajans together. And in the end, I decided to just tell people that you can come close and have darshan of him. And I told the story, like shortly I told the story of his appearance. So then this lady, she never saw a deity before. She never had experience with Hinduism at all, but she believed the story and she came to him and she prayed and she asked for something that she was meditating and praying about for not less than a year. And so she prayed to him and the next morning she comes and she was not like even in Bhakti Marga in our movement, like she didn't know much. She didn't know about Paramahansa Vishwanath. She just like came because she was in some, um, she had some connections to spiritual communities and websites. And so she saw the announcement about bhajans and she thought, okay, cool, I go. So then in the next morning, she comes for our morning prayers in, in Bhakti Marga, and I'm like so surprised to see her, like what is she doing there? And she comes right directly to me and she said, you will not believe, I need to uh, give something to this deity because actually he fulfilled my prayer that I was praying uh, for one year. And just in one night, it happened after I prayed to him. Basically, what we see in the, in the, in the scriptures and what my guru is teaching us, what my guru Paramahansa Vishwananda is saying, is that it's so important then, you, then once you have chosen that your goal is to reach the, the divine, to really realize your divine atma and to have this relationship with Paramatma, to, to become, become real, servant of, of the Lord, not servant of any material people, any material desires, then you should never waver from that and then he will give it to you. So that's what is this miracle about and Jai Gurudev.